to this YouTube upload of a live Twitch stream of War Story Occupied France, which is being published by Osprey Games. Nailed My name it. is Paula. <laughs> Hello, I'm Matthew. We did that on the first try. Uh, <laughs> this uh, upload is sponsored by Osprey Games. If you are interested in this game, there is a link in the description below, which you should click on. Again, this was done as a live stream on Twitch, so there's going to be some Twitch alerts in the video, and we uh, interact with our chat just a little bit. So if you think, hey, that seems like a cool thing, come and check out our live streams over at twitch.tv slash Paula Deming. And we are playing the demo introductory scenario, which was available at Gen Con, I'm sure, at other conventions. So you won't be getting any spoilers for the full-fledged War Stories game. So that's something that you don't have to worry about. You can just watch and learn how to play as well, kind of thing. So let's get to it. I believe in us. So here we are playing War Story Occupied France. It's from Osprey Games. Link for them in the chat right now if you're live on Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube, it's in the description below. Um, is it? Yeah, it's it designed is. by David Thompson of Undaunted Fame and other war games. Uh, and also and Dave, Dave Neal. And Matthew, do you want to say what we've discovered about Dave Neal? Dave Dave Neal, excuse me, before... He's behind the uh, Echoes games and some of the Unlock stuff, as well as Dubious and other titles. So I can see how Dubious those... Mm. I can see how these two designers have come together to make this specific game. That seems yeah. to make a lot of sense to me. This is a... Um, like a, a sto narrative war game, basically. It is. It's a choose-your-own-death uh, adventure. Choose-your-own-adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, where we are part of the French resistance in World War II. Vive France! Um, I think it becomes, uh, we in once you get into Mission 1, we're going to be playing Mission 0, which is like the demo mission, because um, the game comes with three missions, and it's replayable, because you can make it different choices and do different things. So just because you've played through it once, go back and play it again. Like There's nothing too like spoilery, right? But what well, we're doing no is not in the main game. But there's nothing to, like, destroy, for Yeah, instance. it's not, like, so, legacy style. Yeah. It's narrative. Other um, than a German bunker. That's right. And I'm going to do it with uh, my feminine wiles. I'm going to go in there wearing a red dress, and I'll right. say, listen up, sailors. Time to die! I like it. Like, where that's your what... boobs were, you actually pull mm. out, like, guns. Yeah. You're like, you thought those were my, like, a pointy bra, but actually... That's good. You thought those were Tartars? How about Berettas? <laughs> that I'm was on good. fire you today, were, Paula. You're full of puns today. Thank you. Um, Corp Donk in chat wants to know if we can do some French. Is that a Glock talk. in your pants? So you just. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Carry on. So, hi, Deadpan. Another question quickly in chat. Corp Donk wants to know how the Grand Canyon was. It was wonderful. Everyone should go. It's a it's an incredible sight. So, did you at any point at the Grand Canyon go like this? Oh, like that? No. I would have. That's more of like that. a jungle situation. I feel like than no, a Grand but it's Canyon for the situation. reverberation. I just I imagine there's great there's great echoes to be found at the Grand Canyon. I have to assume. The sound does like go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't, but I'm willing to learn. Teach me. <laughs> willing to learn. So, uh, is, as you get into the main game with War Story, you end up, like, working with the Maquis. Not from Deep Space Nine. But probably if only. the inspiration for that in Deep Space Nine. It was. That's why the Maquis kept on going on about... Like, um, uh, uh, uh... Les Mis yeah. and stuff. Yeah. That's, all, that's the whole connection there. <laughs> David Phillips in chat says, I'm gonna make Matthew's Tarzan yell my ringtone. Someone clip Please it. Please do. Make it. We'll make it an alert. Reminds me of going to the Crystal Leisure Centre as a young lad, and when the wave machine would come on, that's the noise that would accompany it. And then someone would shout, Well, all swimmers with red armbands, please leave the pool now. These are things that are ingrained in my mind. I, again, don't know what you're talking about. Well, not many people would know what the Crystal Leisure Centre is, Paula, if you, aren't, if you weren't born in the West Midlands and the Black Country. Well, at least that's not, not just a full British thing. It's just a... It's no, that's even more specific. Thing. Even more unuseful. So, 
The first thing, as we go into our mission zero of this game, is this came with a um, little rolled up piece of paper. I'm gonna have to send Matthew a picture of this probably. Because I bet you can't see it. Hold on. Yeah, it is literally Morse code on here. You. Oh, is it actually? You know. Yeah. It's on a little strip. I don't. You probably won't be able to see it because it's it's really small. And it's probably. Is it actually really Morse code? It. Um. Yes, it's dots and dashes. Focus. It probably says. It probably says, "Thank you for coming to Gen Con." Read it out to me. I don't know. I haven't looked it Hold up. Hold on. Okay. I will read it out and I need you to interpret it. Hold on. I also don't know which is the start and which is the end. That would make a difference. So this might end up I being text backwards. text almost code using dots and dashes. Okay. Tell me. Okay. If, again, this might end up being backwards. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Space. Dot, dot, dash. <laughs> I've yeah. this too many times and now it's all tingled on itself. Space. Dot, dash, dash, Hold dot. On. How am I writing dashes? What do you, what, what? Just write it as a dash? Are you? Oh, and it's, it's a, okay, it's dash and then it's a, it's a backspace between. Okay, so dot, dot, dot. Mm hmm Dot, dot, dash. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm hmm Dot, dash, dash, dot. C spot run. Dot, dash, dash, dot. So, to the double letter. Dot, dash, dash, dot, yeah. And then, dot, dash, dot, dot. Yeah. Dot, dot. Yeah. Single dot. All the single dots, all the single dots, all the single dots. Okay, now read me to that backwards because that just says S I E E E E E I I E. So let's go from the other side, maybe, because that seems. And then wait, one more letter, dot, dot, dot. That's the first word. That's one word? Well, then there's a backslash. So I'm assuming that's all one word, but maybe that's a line. I don't know. Let's, can we so go sorry. from the other side? What was the what were the letters that I just gave you? S I E E E E E I. What? There's no, no way that's... there's you. You something is wrong. Okay, so S I E E. The next one is dot dash dot dot. That can't be E again. I'm gonna go to a different Morse code <laughs> to translate it because this is help us out. Push that. Okay. You should be interpreting this for us. Most code translators, so, 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 how to use Morse code. Follow the steps. Type, type the text message below. Okay. Copy and paste the Morse code into the Morse code box or manually enter the Morse code sequence. The English translator of the Morse code will automatically appear in the text box. So let me just try it. dot dot dash. I just. So it's the first letter is dot dot dot. Okay. Let's go again. Okay. First letter. Dot dot dot. Yeah. Second letter. Dot dot dash. Yeah. Third letter. Dot dash dash dot. Yeah. Then the same thing again. Yeah. Next letter. Dot dash dot dot. Yeah. Yeah. Next letter is just two dots. Dot dot. Yeah. Then a single dot as the next letter. Yeah. And the last letter is dot, dot, dot. Yeah. That's the first thing before we hit a backslash. Yeah, I'm there. All right, what does that say? Supplies. <gasps> it says supplies? Which yes. is a fun way of saying, it's the way I would want you to say surprise. Supplies, supplies everybody. Yeah. Hey, supplies, everybody. I'm sorry okay. about that. Next letter. Or, this excuse is me, a, next such a word. Fun this is a fun stream for everyone. Is it fun for everyone to watch us interpret this Morse code? Okay. The first of the next word. Then we'll do the minute cryptic. <laughs> the first one is four dots. Dot, 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 dot. Yeah. Then the second letter is two dots. Yeah. You can go a bit quicker. And then the next letter is dash, dot, dot. 
Yeah. Then dash dot dot. So the same letter two times in a row. Yeah. Then a single dot. Yeah. Then the last letter of this one is dash dot. Hidden. Supplies hidden. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay, next this word. is actually this is actually kind of cool. Maybe okay. we'll be able to get something extra. Okay. Uh, the next word is dot dot is the first letter. I bet this is in. in. Yeah. In, then it's yeah. dash dot. So is that the end? Yeah. Supplies hidden. So so say it again. Sorry. So it's dot dot dash dot. Feel like I'm doing. Uh... Yeah. In. Next. Thank you for this sub. Oh my gosh, thank, thank you for gifting all those subs. Wow, thank you so much. And Twitch gifted a sub because if you give subs at the moment, Twitch will give you a bonus Thank you, Bits. Well, it's, it's subs now. So, yeah. so cool. now YouTube, you get to see what it's like if you come with us live. I'm just writing. I feel like I'm watching an episode of Gravity Falls and trying to solve yeah. the code at the end. Cut. In. Sorry, you have to look at that a million times, YouTube. But we like it here. Okay, last word. Bon. Is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters long. Okay. So, the first letter is dot, dash, dash. Yeah. Second letter, three dashes. Dash, yeah. dash, dash. Next letter, dot, dash, dot. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you for the other sub. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Thank you for giving oh me five more subs. You are just leaving me on this. You're like the biggest tease right now, it's Paula. It's so loud in my ear. I can't talk to you about this while being alert. Thank you so much for the subs. Next letter is dash dot dash. Yeah. It's workshop, I think. And then dot dot dot. Yeah, which is S, yes, workshop. And then four dots, which is H, as we know. Then three lines. Yeah, and then well, I P. know. Yeah. And then the last one's P. Yeah. Surprising so in workshop. I mean, I know what O okay. and O and S are. Yeah, once you like start solving the now you like learn it, right? That's pretty I would, darn. I think cool. I could, I think you could learn Morse code pretty quick. I think you could get good at that. You probably could. Like once you, all you have to do is learn twenty six letters, right? Yeah. It's just like learning. Learned, it's just learning an alphabet. I learned. I learned katakana, whatever it's called. Okay. All right. This is so cool. So I bet if we get anywhere, if anything comes up in the game about a workshop. Wow. Corp Donk, you're out of control. <laughs> Thank you for oh, getting. And another, well, and also that's that's, that's helps us get three extra bonus subs. Thank you that's so much. That's pretty great. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank Fast forward this in the VOD? <laughs> cut, well, we may, we'll see. <laughs> Maybe I'll cut them out in the VOD. <laughs> it is not me singing. No, we thank you so much for being incredibly generous, Corp Don. No, You're, it's, we carry on. We appreciate it so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for this. Thank subs. you very much. Um, okay, supplies hidden in workshop. Okay, so now that we know that, do you want to talk a little bit, Matthew, about how this game works. Welcome to War Story Occupied France. We are a crack team of crack specialists, crack in every single way, cracked, our emotions frayed, the Germans have taken over in a surprise blitzkrieg offensive, and now all we have is our wits and underground splinter cells of rebels called the Marquis. Our aim, hold off and disrupt the German advance until the Allied forces can retake France. Ooh. Boom, boom, boom. I've not read it, but I'm going to guess Did it says... Did you rhyme on purpose? I didn't. It was really good. Uh, thank you. So we are part of the French Resistance, which, can I tell you, is one of the coolest parts of World War II, if I can pick yes. something without thinking about the human casualties. Also, a fantastic storyline that takes place in 
Voyager when the Herojan take over. We're not talking about Star Trek. Look, when there's a whole occupied France, the whole of Voyager is a holodeck, the Herojan of the Nazis. It's brilliant. Also, seven of nine, she can belt a song or two. Now, <laughs> we're going to be taking on, I believe if the scenario zero is the same as the rest of the game, we're going to be taking on four different characters. Yes. And we're doing that cooperatively. So I don't control them, Paul doesn't control them. We're both controlling all of them. We are going to all be equipped with a silenced gun and our wits. And we're going to be going through the booklet. Now, I've not read any of the booklet, so I actually can't tell you too much about it because I don't know yeah, yet. We haven't but read it. We're going to be going through the booklet. The booklets and in the actual game, rest. you'll see there's These a the bunch of different uh, there's a bunch of different uh, envelopes in there which have like map packs and stuff. And we've got decks of cards, which is equipment. Cool we've got stuff. different mysteries that might be on there's the clues. This. Some of the... this is don't open until we're instructed to. I love a game with an envelope that's like, don't open that until you've been instructed to. Is that from the base game? Yeah, that's from the base game. Yeah. And like a little uh, deck of cards of stuff, which I'm not going to flip over because, ah! But essentially, we're going to be playing through a mission. We're going to have a clear mission goal. And we're going to try to aim to do that. We're going to do that by going to different places, getting different cards, acting on what we find, and then progressing as in, in much the way of a choose-your-own-adventure game, essentially. There's going to be paragraphs of text to read and stuff like that. At some point during all of the missions, there's going to be encounters where we actually are going to have to fight but this isn't a game where we're going to start rolling dice or anything like no. that we we get to do checks based on essentially the stats of the people that we assign to the locations that we go to stats that can be changed with different tokens that can be changed with different abilities different weapons items all that type of stuff and the core part of this game is making decisions there's going to be a lot of decisions a lot of paths to go down mm -hmm. do we go back to this old manor house at night or do we go during the day time is something that's going to be taking part in the missions in all three missions in the box set time is different maybe it happens over the course of an evening or maybe a mission takes over the course of a few days we can be injured there is going to be combat there are going to be ramifications for our actions and when we're injured that's fine but if we become mortally injured at any point you cannot heal from being mortally injured. Mm -mm. You will die. You will die. There at the are... end of the mission, though, you do get to play out the rest of the mission. But then yes. that, or that agent gets to play out the but rest of the mission. But you'll play as a wounded character, and a wounded character has lower stats, as you can possibly imagine. I think we kind of just go for it from yeah, this. There's we'll, a few tokens we'll to talk as about. We, as we play, right? It's pretty, there's a, yeah. Yeah, there's a few tokens in the game. Those tokens are going to be helping us. Check, check is the way that we have to kind of like pass or fail different things that we try to do. Mm -hmm. And obviously, if we fail a check, something different happens to whether we pass the check. And we get to choose the stats that were the people and the stats and all those type of things. And we can boost a few of those stats with tokens. There is a token, which is a general kind of like boost token, as well as a firearms token and a mm -hmm. general skill token. And the game will tell us at some point, you lose advantage. You yeah, get, and that means you lose these. all of you lose all of your advantage tokens. So those blue advantage tokens are use them when use them you need them. As soon as you Don't need them, save them. You might not end up being able to keep them. And I thought of you immediately when I said that because I was like, I don't know Paul why will be saving these. <laughs> Paul would be saving things till the very end. I'd get and to then the end failing. of the game and not use it. That's me. Icarus, so, hello. Thank you so much in Twitch chat for um, resubscribing for 35 months. We really appreciate you. So I think we just go through it and stuff yeah. and see what happens. I'm not sure how long the demo version of the game is. I'm sure it's a shorter mission than what's yeah. in the box. And it's. I think, I think this game, if this is popular, I think they'll there's the opportunity to make a lot more of these. Yeah. So that's something that excites me. If anyone's watching from Osprey Games, the Wild West. Ooh, what? you could do this kind of thing. Yeah, in all kinds of settings. Okay. So, we have our mission briefing here, but first, okay, mission introduction. <clears throat> there is... I'll do it, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you do the French World War II version of that? It's more, that's more... 
World War One, but that's fine. That's go, okay. go for it. So mission introduction, August 1943. The war against Nazi Germany is approached. I should have get, gotten music for us to play during all of this. Anyway. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. No, I'll do the music. Okay, okay, you do the music. The war against Nazi Germany is approaching in its fourth year with no end in sight. That's not the right kind of music, Matthew. You're still stuck in, like, country western land. I can't... I thought you were going to use your mouth to make, like, World War II sounding. No, 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 I don't. That French song. <laughs> that French song. I do. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, the war against Nazi Germany is approaching its fourth year with no end in sight. You are a team of trainee operatives for the Special Operations Executive, a unit of British spies operating internationally. At the end of your training, you're posted for two weeks to German-occupied Jersey in the Channel Islands to gather basic information on German defenses. The task is not particularly challenging or interesting, but it is intended to give you a sense of the reality of being a spy in enemy territory to prepare you for the more serious missions to come. But then, after ten days on the island, something unexpected happens. A new mission briefing arrives. Stapled to the side of a Jersey cow. <laughs> Top secret. Abort current mission. Abort current mission. No mission details. Location. Jersey. Channel Islands. The mission. A German spy with code name Halo. Heil... Heiligenschein. Heiligenschein in German. Yeah, that's how you say that. I was going to say that's... I was going to say that's the code name. Pick something easier to say. Has fled England with documents containing highly sensitive information. Our intelligence yes. suggests he is heading to Jersey, well, where he will deliver them into German hands. He is expected to arrive sometime in the afternoon of the 24th of August. You must identify his landing point and recover the documents by any means necessary. A sailboat will collect you off Plymouth Beach in Jersey once your mission is complete. Objective, recover the stolen documents from the spy... Halo, which does sound should like a rapper. Mus- should we have worn mustaches for this? Probably, I think. Yes. What were we thinking? I, mean? I don't know what we were thinking. We were, we In were my thinking. mind, Master Chief from the Halo franchise is on the loose. <gasps> I tell you what, you we go. ain't beating him. No, we're not. No, we're not. He's got a plasma sword. Yeah. We're so not beating him. I'm just going to let him do his thing. <laughs> so... Okay, so our team sheet here tells us, um, and these exist, you know, in the main game as well, uh, our starting tokens. So we start with two firearms tokens. These are, like, in our pool of generalized, yes. Uh, We have access to these as a group. Four skill tokens. These are just generalized skill tokens. Put them onto the the shared shared token dispensary. Or is that this? It's the little circle thing. Also, you pull the vehicles out, which aren't needed until mission I just, four. I just thought Three. they'd look. I just thought they'd look cool. I'm just saying. We're not going to use the vehicles, but I just thought they were neat, so I pulled them out. Why um, not? Okay. Now we need to pick our agents. Now we're going to choose four in the bait in the in the full game. There are eight for you to choose from. Three of them have special abilities, and so for this, they've said, "Hey, choose four from the five that don't have special abilities." So Matthew. You need to pick two, and I need to pick two. Who would you I, like to be? You have those there on your end. I mean, I, if I had them in front, I mean, I would be picking. You do have them. You do have them. Are they not the? Are they? Did they not come with the? They're in the. the, they're in the no, no, no. These are the real. These are from the game, the full game. You need the full game to play the demo. Oh, that's what I, I did was not saying realize earlier. that when I was like, oh, no, but we'll you... use most of the components from the real game. Well, Paul, and perhaps if you made yourself clear, I said it. <laughs> Would you like know. to get them? Perhaps so you if you'd see. made yourself crystal clear. Uh, I would like to play as Rudiger Beauregard. Uh, that's not one of their names, but... Colonel Schnapps. Mm, also not one of their names. Agatha Twisty. <laughs> that one's good enough that I'll let you just have it. And Shinobi. to get all this stuff out now for them. <laughs> so we, we're not picking out um, special... So there are three picking... with special abilities, yeah, I, yeah, and so just take those out. 
So actually a big, so this sounds silly, but a big part of this game is picking the right people and a big part of this game later on, picking the right people to do the right things at the right yeah. time because this, you can see on the cards that they have different, for instance, firearms abilities or awareness, influence, stealth and technical abilities. Yeah. I think we definitely take um, car... Should we do Antoine because he has the most firearm skills? Yeah, I like Antoine. Okay. Uh, I think we should also take Nadold. Nadold? Uh, Yannick is his first name. I'm sorry. That says Yannick? Yeah, right underneath and Prenom. Oh, Yannick, Yannick. it does say. Yeah, yeah, so first yeah. you're seeing their last name and then their first name. <laughs> yeah, and Yannick. Then we can take, tell you who I wish we had, Nor Iniac Khan. Me too. I would love to be playing with Nor. Because uh, she was an absolute genuine hero. She was uh, incredible. Let's, well, let's do, I like Monique because we're friends with two Moniques. So I think we should pretend it's both Moniques yeah. combined into one. And I like She's the idea of, of taking um, Bernadette because she is a a three in stealth Ooh. and stealth is not something we have anywhere else we don't so we've have got... the most awareness but that's okay it's mission one paula um uh... hopefully no one dies from not being very aware okay o odile odile i don't know how you say i that don't think anyone uh, has sorry. ever died from first saying what was that i don't think that's ever happened <laughs> okay so we have our four agents now and i've equipped them each with their uh well rod, well rid. The toggle rocket. Their guns, which um, here you'll see that it is a short range. Uh, that's what this will be. Thank you yeah, for that, Ben. They're, they're short range silent. And they're silent. Rockets. So are there? And quiet. you always have those. You always have that option to fire your well rod pistol. But if we get other equipment, which we might get other equipment, especially if we find the workshop where there are supplies, you'll see other symbols on other uh, yeah. weapons that say, hey, this one might be long range. This one can do both. This one is not quiet. You know, things like that. Okay, so we have... Maybe we find a chainsaw? Gosh, you could do this... Th I'm This system you could use for, like, anything. You could do a horror game where you're trying to escape, yes. like, different, like, Hollywood horror things, right? And each one could be a different movie trope, and you've got to escape, you know, work out... The mission is to escape the axe murder, or escape the haunted house, or, you know... Why are yes. we not getting paid? Why are we not getting paid on, on the payroll? Uh, you should Osprey? pitch yourself as a developer for Osprey Games. Look, Osprey. Antoine. I'm just writing everyone's names down on our little list here. Paula! Yes, great. What? First rule in spy camp. Don't write anything these down. These are their fake, these are their spy names. You think these are their real names? These I are their still spy think names. writing it down is a terrible plan. Don't worry, we've already, we've taken out all the labels on their clothes. So that's Good. fine. Um, this is for our records back home. So, okay, we have our four spies. We have our objective, recover the stolen documents from the German spy, Halo. Uh, this says, ooh, also draw equipment card E2. Oh, we're also going to end up with a sniper rifle, this says. Oh, well, I've got, I'll tell you right now, Paula, I've come up with the plan. <laughs> you can see this one means long range. That's what the plus means. And this has the sound symbol without the line through it, so it's loud. But you can do it from far away. So we have this, but no one is equipped with it yet. What card is this? E2 in the main Got deck it. of stuff. And oh, all Leo of Phil. the um, well rods are E1. There's four of them. Yeah. Okay. Then this says, we've done that. We've done that. Today is the 24th of August, and Halo is due to arrive sometime this afternoon. You need to find out where he will land on Jersey and get there as soon as possible to orchestrate a strike. You consider your options, and three possible sources of information come to mind. Draw cards one, two, and three, then pick an action from the available action cards. Now, are those so, cards from your deck? These are from my deck, yes. Okay, so, I, so my, my card one... Yeah, yours Please. would go with one of the missions yes. in the main game. Okay, cards one, two, and three. I am, this is a sponsor stream, everyone, but I am sold on this. This is fun. I know okay. we haven't started, but I just like be doing a mission. You know? It's cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. 
All right. The okay. So here are the places we can visit. And then I'm gonna read out. Ice cream factory. This ice is cream one factory, of those games where factory, if you don't like reading, it's, that's gonna be different for you. But um, there is no, there is the ice house, but it's not an ice cream factory. Uh, close enough. The ice house. This house. You just is know the ice cream on Jersey is gonna be so good because <laughs> of the milk. Oh. In fact, they have a lot of cows in Jersey. Yeah, Jer Jersey cows, Jerseys. I always just assumed that was like New Jersey, but I guess it's not. Sure ain't. It's it just really isn't. I'm Sheet sorry for metal? being American. I'm sorry it's for just... being American, okay, and not knowing things. The Ice House. So this house in Saint Helier is home to SOE mm -hmm. agent Sophia Sartin, codename Icebreaker. Her objective Shooter. is to gather information on the German elite in Jersey, so she may know something about Halo. However. Because she socializes with high-ranking Germans, she is supposed to remain out of contact with the SOE except by rare radio transmissions, which would be done by Nor, probably. Um, True. To minimize suspicion, visiting her could be risky for both her and your team. We'd have to visit I her. Uh. We should eliminate her. We also have the estate. This small group of buildings on the outskirts of St. Helier is a base for the Jersey Communist Party. They carry out regular operations against the Germans and have a spy network on the island. However, getting them to trust you and provide information may not be easy, as their relations with British intelligence are turbulent. They could even prove hostile. Or... I'm not... The, I well, don't want to... You don't want to go there because they're communist. Yeah. I knew. As soon as I said that, I was like, no, he's not going to want to go there. Let's shoot the communists. <laughs> the hut at Le Havre. Right now, we just can we just take care of the fascists first, and then we'll deal with everything else. Look, one one at a time. Let's blow the whole island of ice. <laughs> okay, the hut. It is rumored that this isolated hut is the hideout of Welder, a German deserter. You've been told he wanted to contact British intelligence and went into hiding a month ago, but learning anything more specific about him is difficult. Nevertheless, he may have <laughs> useful information in the hunt for Halo. Where do we I think thought you were going to say the hut. I thought you were going to say the hut. Jamawa <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> this head of a crime organization. <laughs> anyway. uh, yeah, I, my vote is going to go for see, visiting old Jabba. Going to the hut? Yeah. That's kind of what I think too. I'm really tempted to go to the ice house because the game has set it up to try and discourage us from doing it, which means maybe it's the best choice actually. But let's go then. Let's it do also it. could be bad. So and let's and go. I I'm kind of agree with you about like the possible hostilities of at the estate. So I kind of think the hut is the way to go. And maybe if there's a hut, there might be a workshop that we can True. get our supplies my, from. We don't know what the workshop is. Well, the thing is, is well, we're not sure if we're going to be able to go to multiples of these. We don't know yeah. yet if it's going to be like time has passed and the options you the boat's on its way right so yeah let's go to the hut i think that makes sense all right we're gonna go to the hut at le Hoc. excuse me for not so, knowing how to say any of these things so you'll see that on the cards there's like now go to this which is now draw this card 11. for instance yeah. but some of the cards are gonna have like different options to choose from and some of the cards are gonna have options which kind of flow which is do as many do as much as you can of each option when you kind of got get it so okay we flip to entry 111. Are you ready to find out what happens? I could just see swinging feet under the door. Go for it. No one answers when you knock at the door of the hut. You give it a push, and it creaks open, revealing a small, sparse room with a few cans of food, items of clothing, and a blanket that appears to be covering something. He's dead. Is he dead? He's, wander, I told you he's dead. You wander over and lift it, then step back in shock. Underneath is the body of a man. Presumably, this is Wedler. Oh, I called him Welder before. Wedler, and he's riddled with bullet holes. You pause a moment and take a breath. Communist bullets? <laughs> Only one way to find out. We need to get to our uh, bullet analyst in the, in the field. Um, you study the scene. Wedler is in civilian clothes, and you realize nothing in the hut has any obvious military connection. Was he really in the army? The floor nearby is splattered with blood, but with a clean patch in the middle. It looks like something was on that spot when Wedler was shot, and the object shielded the floor beneath from the blood. Then the object was taken. Was Wedler killed for it? A deal gone wrong, perhaps? 
Whatever the reason for Wedler's death, you won't be getting any information from him. However, there may still be something useful in the hut. You begin to search. So we now do a check for awareness is, it, is what I knew it's going to be. I knew it's going to be awareness. And our, our, our awareness isn't amazing. So this might be the time to use some boosts. I want to pass this check. So yeah. What's the, so, what's the, what's the number? Uh, for a, like a good passing is seven to eight. And if we have nine or better, it's the best. So, so we've only got six awareness. Yeah. So, so need... now everyone, we look at all of our cards and we see one plus two is three plus two is five plus one is six. So we need to use at least one. Do we start with any advantage, a boost advantage tokens? Yeah, we start with two and four, I think, two firearms and four regular No, but advantages. like the just the blue advantage. No, you don't need the blue advantage ones. You, you don't. We don't start with any advantage tokens. No, I don't think. Actually, I'm not sure. I don't know. It would tell you. It would have told us, I think, and it just and it didn't. Let me double check. I'm pretty sure we start with two firearm and four skill check ones. We do, because it says here, yeah, we don't have any others. Thank so we should spend a bits. skill check <laughs> one then. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Um. Yes. So yeah, we'll just need to spend from, do you think we just spend one? I don't know if it's worth spending three to get the best outcome. But No, I think we should spend a good one. Outcome. Get spend one to pass is what I'd like to do. That's yeah. what I think too. So we're going to take one of our, so just uh, let me um, widen out here so that you can see. So here are our um, You're gonna tokens we have available to us. Thank you everyone on Twitch who contributed to a hype train just now. Thanks. Really, really, really appreciate you. Um, so we can take one of our general skill ones to add to our total to make it from six to seven. These are specifically for firearms, and these are specifically for our list of skills under here. So we spent one of our four to make it a seven, which will give us a better result uh, than one out of six. So we will turn to entry 219. Hopefully we found something good. They actually say in the rules too, like, you need to really know, like, is it worth spending a bunch of tokens to get the best outcome? Or maybe sometimes yeah. just, like, the good one is good enough. And, like, knowing, trying to figure out, like, what that balance is, right? Um, okay. 219. Partly hidden by Wedler's hunched body. You notice, a sm you notice a small bag containing some tools. Draw equipment card E4. Now this is in the main box, I believe. Let me just double check. No. I don't have something here. Oh no, I do have, wait, I do have an E4. I think it's probably, I wonder if it's the same. It is not. Uh, so sorry, it, this is one that I just have in the demo. It's our equipment deck. I should have. Actually, here's our sniper rifle. It's fine. Um, so E4 is a toolkit. Place two skill tokens on this card. Oh, awesome. An agent equipped with the toolkit may use these tokens when performing technical checks. Yeah, boost technical checks. That's wicked. That's awesome. And so when we go into an encounter, everyone will be able to, before it starts, basically at the Switch moment you around. would like, roll initiative or whatever you get to assign things to to people so yeah. we don't have to assign this right now we can wait and see what we're up against first technically everyone has access to it right now because yeah. we're all together so yeah um okay so we got the toolkit then it says advance time because we spent time yeah. searching so it is now we started at 10 a.m so now i'm going to circle 11 a.m it's now 11 a.m and then it says discard card three. I guess if you have card three. Anytime it tells you to do something with a card that you don't have, you just ignore it. I don't see it at all. Card three. Well, uh, I'm glad it didn't want us to draw card three because... Oh, no. <laughs> card three is just the location we went to, everyone. Thank That's you. card three. Yeah. We went there. It's gone. It's out of the game. Done. 
I'm fine. I'm a pro. I know what I'm doing. Mm. So now we can choose to go to one of the other locations. Yes, I'm pick a yeah. new action from the available cards. Well, I'm happy we went to this location because my curiosity is sated, but we got some toolkit. Yeah. So now, do we go? Let's to go to house? let's go to the first one. Let's go to the first one. Okay, we're we're gonna do this this risky thing. We're gonna go to the ice house. Uh, we're not supposed to contact this person except by radio, but we're gonna risk it and see what happens. Um, so we're, now this is visit two three six. So now we go to two three six. I love, I love book uh, games with booklets of different paragraphs you have to flip to. Normally I don't, as you know, know. but th when it's when that's the point of the game, it's different, you know. Yes. Like... Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> There's no time to arrange any kind of plausible cover story for why you're visiting Sophia Sartine. So you will have to try to enter her house unseen. We have our stealth person. The street outside is fairly quiet, but there are and no moments. Kids. Yeah. But there are no moments when it is empty. The biggest concern is the three German soldiers stationed a short distance away. You do not all need to enter the house. It could be best for just one or two of you to go to reduce the chance of being noticed, but splitting up always comes with risks. Select one to four agents to go to the ice house and give them a blue cube. All right. Definitely our stealthy person, right? Um, and that's Bernadette. I say we send Bernadette and Monique. Because Bernadette's the stealthiest one. And Second stealthiest is Monique. And, but Monique is the most influential. Yeah, I agree. And if we leave the lads outside, they both have the three and the two in the, in the combat, fire. like yeah. firearms. Yeah. So I say we send those the, the ladies in and uh, the fellas can step outside. I agree. I think that's smart. Okay. So we've done that. So we, to, to denote this, we kind of separate people into groups using cubes. Mm -hmm. So we put the so blue cubes blue on like what we've done. Yeah. And there might be a thing that comes up later where they're like, every agent with a blue cube has to do this now. Yeah, because or... they're separated. So the checks yeah. are separated now, right? Mm -hmm. So there they are. Bernadette is slightly out of view there. Okay. So now it says... Turn to entry 101. Okay, so let's see what happens now. Should we equip the... Can we make sure that the... Uh, we, Do we want to we give say, one of them the toolkit? Can we make sure that we say that the toolkit is equipped to uh, uh, Bernadette? Yes. Or, yeah. She would be the sense. person in this situation who would be doing any technical checks if we could help it anyway, because she, of the two of them, she has the most in technical. Yeah. She has two to Monique's one. Okay. So Bernadette currently. Oh, has and this a and this and the rifle can go to um, the rifle can go. For now, we can say that the rifle is with um, Antoine, Anton, Anton, Anthony, John. All right, Antoine, however you say his name, uh, has Tony. Uh, oh, Tony Soprano has the sniper rifle. Okay. Would have been a much shorter series. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to entry 101. Cautiously, so this is marked here, you know, this is what the blue cube people are doing. Cautiously, you move across the street toward the door. Dun, 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 oh, no. Dun. Check the lowest stealth of blue agents. Oh, so two and three. We don't get well, I'm glad to we use spent... Bernadette, but we have two on Monique, uh, mm -hmm. but I think we spin one skill check and make it three, don't you think? Uh, well, could you read me what it, what the options are first? So I know. If you only have one, turn to entry 163. If you have two, turn to entry 131, and if you have three, turn to yeah, entry 116. One. And we yeah, have to one. go by the lowest stealthy person, which makes yeah, spend sense. One. Yeah, spend one. We're spending one to make Monique's stealth from two to three, so we get the best. I think this is one where you want the best outcome, right? Because yeah. this is Damn highly it, risky. Well, I'm happy to spend one to get the best outcome. That's much better. Yeah. Okay, 116. Could we send Shep? He is not stealthy. He's, please Remy say, is pretty mm. stealthy, but Shep is not stealthy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 116. Okay. Taking advantage of a group of passing fishermen for cover, you reach the door feeling certain 
you were not spotted. Turn to entry Excellent. 158. Okay, I like that. Okay. Maybe you want ready? to be maybe you want to be caught. Maybe that's part of the plan all along. I don't think we want to be caught. Yeah, you two are too you are too stealthy. Even your target doesn't see you, it says a reality in chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn it. Mm -hmm. I said, damn it. The door is opened by a maid who, after consulting the mistress, shows you into an opulent sitting room. A crystal chandelier illuminates the chaise lounge, velvet drapes, and the swinging pendulum of a golden clock. Sophia Sartine is standing in the center of the room. I believe I know who you are, she says as soon as you enter, but I am unclear why you would come here. The conditions of my communication are very strict. Yes, you say, but this is an urgent matter. I must be British now. A German spy with the code name Halo has fled England with sensitive documents and arrived in the Aren't they the French? Jersey. Look, they I can fr only do one sort of French-sounding accent, and I already spent it on... Bernadette Lafontaine Sophia. is not the most... Anyway, carry on. Okay, I see what you're doing. Yep. We, you say, but this is an urgent matter. A German... Yes. I can't do it. It's bad. It's less offensive, actually, if you do the British. Thank you. Carry on. Our mission is to find out. See, and also, in American movies, at least, every foreign accent is just represented with a British accent. Gotcha. Right? Yeah, so. that's true. And I don't want to offend our lovely French people in our Twitch chat Oh, here. my God. Then the Bulgarians came. <laughs> oh, hello, everyone. Pip, pip. Yeah. <laughs> um... Our mission is to find where he is landing and recover the documents. I have not heard the name Halo, she replied, but I do know General Melkin of Military Intelligence is meeting someone this afternoon, and the whole thing is very secretive. This must be your spy. Where Put can the we barrel find of the gun. Nelkin. Put the barrel of the gun in her mouth, then ask her if she wants to have a Halo of her own. She's Louise. This is a fr this is someone who's working with us. We don't we don't threaten to shoot them. This is why I wouldn't have made it in the resistance. I'm gonna like tell us what you know. <laughs> Damn it, woman! Uh, he visits the HO2 tunnel every Tuesday around one or two p.m. You could go there, then follow him to the meeting with Halo. She pauses, but I imagine it would be useful to get to the meeting point before Nelkin arrives. It would be, he replied. Is there any way you could find out the meeting point now? She thinks a moment, then shakes her head. You detect she may have an idea, but is unsure about vocalizing it. Oh, let's uh, break her legs. So we can try to persuade her. I mean, her. sorry, sorry, I mean, twist her arm. I apologize, yes. <laughs> try to persuade or otherwise. We picked Monique because of her influence, so <laughs> I think we should try to persuade her, right? Yeah, let's, let's, let's persuade her. And we're persuading her with... Um... Bah! The back of my gun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 235. We're going to run out of tokens pretty quick, though. Okay. Check the highest influence of blue agents. We're so good. Three. This is why we brought Monique. That was so smart, Matthew, to think we should bring someone with some influence. Um, and I'm so glad we didn't come with just Bernadette, even though it made it a little harder with our stealth. Yeah, because influence her is influence well. is one. Yeah, they they come up with the numbers on these cards on purpose, right? Yeah. It's like you know, so. Okay, so Monique's influence is three, which means three plus, we is the best we can do. We don't even need to spend anything. We turned it Excellent. into two, seven, eight. And it's interesting because you might go, oh. We just passed that. It's like we only passed it because we made the right decision earlier. That's yeah. the thing. It's like we passed it because we chose the right people to go on the mission. We pass it because we are pro gamers who know which agents to bring That's with right. us. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Sorry. You're right. We are pro gamers. That's correct. Miss Sartine, you say, if these documents are not recovered, it would be a significant blow. If you need, excuse me, if you have an idea that could help us, we really need to hear it. I okay, do. we'll go back to Hogwarts and tell Dumbledore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that sorry? You do, are you and just I'm do who I? Why don't one of you come up with another another clever way to get us all killed? I mean, that works here. That line works here. That's it. I do. She replies calmly, but it is a highly risky one. 
Although, from what you say, in this case, maybe the risk is justified. I will explain, and you can judge for yourselves. There is a senior German officer called Trauner. Okay, back to French now, Paula, by the way. I'm trying, it's hard, okay? It's hard to switch with words I don't know. Trauner, who I know quite well. Unbeknownst to him, I made a duplicate key to his office. Given his position, I think it is likely... Mm. He. This is a lot. This is, I can do her in small chunks. I think it is likely he would have been sent information on Halo's arrival. So here is a suggestion. I will visit him, then you distract him so I can search the office. He has a telephone in the hallway of his house. You could call him and would need just to keep him on the line as long as possible. You think it over. Possible. Possible. Uh, yeah, so far we brought Bernadette along for nothing. Reality is pointing out. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, well, we thought we we passed the stealth check to get over the road with Bernadette. No, we had to use Monique because we had to check our lowest stealth, which is why we had to spin the token. Look. So we've used only Monique's skills so far. Well, Tom and Dick are outside doing nothing. <laughs> You think it over. It could work, but the risk is high. If Trauner finds Sophia in his office, her cover could be blown. And anything you do as a distraction may make him suspicious. Damn it, woman. The fate of Western Europe is on the line. So do we want to go ahead with this plan? Or no, not do it. We oui. plan. What oui. are we going to do? Is Fiddle with ourselves? Turn to entry 265. What'd you say? <laughs> what else are we going to do? What? I said, what else are we going to do? Fiddle with ourselves? Oh my gosh. Thank you to our sponsor, Osprey Games, for sponsoring Paula, this. Hold on, I'm in character, right? <laughs> you agree with the plan. And Sartine tells you how to get to Trauner's house, then shows you out the back, date, the back gate to reduce your chances of being seen. We advance time again. So it's now new. We need to do this now, then, because if you want to do... This needs to be the next thing we do, because otherwise... We, we only want to have get till to 3 p.m. Let's go. Let's get going. Then it says regroup. So that means all of our We're people back come together. back together. We take our blue cubes off. And we all go together. Okay. You all gather in an alley to work out the best way to distract Trauner. It soon becomes clear you have two main options. The first is to make a phone call to his house, claiming to be calling from German command with a message for him. Sartine has told you the passphrase to use when the secretary answers, but after that, it would be down to you to construct a story that would keep Trauner on the line as long as possible. Oh, God, that's going to be a series of multiple that's choice. Oh, that's terrifying. Alternatively, you could rig up a device to cause a noise in the street and create a commotion in the hope he would go outside to investigate. Option three. There's we have one. a sniper rifle. We can't use it here. We can't just okay. kill him. We just want to distract him for a little bit. I didn't say kill him. I said shoot him in the stomach. <laughs> Jeez. Give him back. That means we can keep him alive enough to get the information we need out of him. But obviously he's going to die after that. Let's be real. I mean, it's more time. I like the idea of doing the rigging up the thing because that sounds like a technical too. challenge if this was the Bake Off. And it sounds to me yes. as though we have some technical skills with our technical weapons and tools that we've got. Yeah. And I, I do think... think, I do think that this phone call is going to be a series of things and we're going to keep, I've just, can think, I think video the phone game. call is going to be really hard to do. It makes me nervous. And I, the problem is we and could also, rig that, up this it, distraction outside and he may not go investigate it. But also it adds a, di a third accent into the game for you. A German officer, like a German. Oh, and I definitely there. can't do that. You I have just to. I will think... send you everything Trauner says, and you'll have to do it in your German accent. And I don't think that's suitable for the internet. <laughs> I think we re-equip our toolkit onto Yannick because his technical skill is three. It's yeah, he was a star have. baker last last week he as well. He was a star baker so. last year, so. And the technical challenge, I think, was uh, it was it was brioche buns, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, which is very difficult to pull. Which off. is harder than yeah. then they mm -hmm. all have to be the same size and shape. <laughs> Sixteen brioche buns. All right. What was what was Paul thinking? We're going to try to construct a noise device, and it's the hottest day of the year. And you want them to also make ice cream. They're doing do baked purpose. Alaskas. There's no baked way Alaskas. They don't do yeah. that on purpose. I think um, noise advice. Okay. I'm thinking possibly we now 
you can tell me if this is a bad idea or not, Paula, but time's against us. So there's only so many ideas. But could we shove some type of improvised explosive into a cow? <laughs> you just really want a milkshake. And that's how you get milkshake. That's Everyone how you get milkshake. Because you got to shake up the cow. And you what better shake way to do the that cow. Yeah. than with an explosive? That's how you get strawberry milk. Do you want me to send you this and you can read it? That sounds like a threat. No, you should read it. <laughs> Show that horizon. Do you want me to send this to you and you can read it? Utter nonsense. <laughs> I just feel like I'm doing a lot of talking. You no, gather a pipe, rope, and you sit down to play Clue. I just managed to make that same joke. <laughs> and a wrench. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Body. You gather a pipe, rope, and some other I've got items. a candlestick. We don't need that. <laughs> And some other items to construct a makeshift air gun. The sound of this shouldn't go unnoticed. A simple timer will mean it triggers when you are not nearby. Once our team has entered Trowner's house, you set the device at the end of the alley across the street and withdraw to a safe distance. <gasps> oh no, we should have left our toolkit. Can we re-equip at this point? Yeah, we're not yet we haven't entered combat. Cause it says check the highest Oh wait, no, you check both. Oh wait, never mind, this is okay. Check Highest you can only not plus you can you can only highest. not when yeah you can only not when there's multiple people and anyway if it's plus it doesn't matter if it's a I, one and a seven or a three I, no, and a yeah. four when I read this I thought we were only checking our second highest technical skill for some reason but uh, this is adding them both together so we don't yeah. need to change anything so that's three plus two is five which gets us the middle success now we could spend, we can spend one of our toolkit to make a six yeah. Actually, yeah, I think we, we should, should do. do. Yeah. Yeah. So we spin from our toolkit that we. I like got... that we're gonna. Pl I like that we're gonna play the demo the demo mission of this and be like, come out of it going, <laughs> we breezed it. Yeah. Easy. And play the first mission and, and everyone's die. bloodied up and dead. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that puts us at a six, which is the best you can do. Turn to entry one eight six. I'm so glad we went and found that dead body, even though it was terrible, because it got us. Listening. We still haven't. Where is a workshop for us to get supplies from? Okay, are we ready? A few minutes, then you hear a loud explosion. You see faces appear at windows all down the street, and Trowner comes running from the house with two armed guards. They carefully scan the area, then cautiously begin to explore. Eventually, Trowner notices the remains of the air gun. He walks over and picks them up, glances around, then returns to the house. Ten minutes later, the icebreaker returns with a satisfied expression on her face. I found she it. got lucky. She said, yeah, she did. They are meeting at the farm at Rosal Bay. And I also found another document that listed the security detail that will be sent to meet him, along with General Melkin. She gives you the information on the soldiers who will be sent to meet Halo, including their rank, expertise, and equipment. But one warning, she continues, he was clearly suspicious. He asked what I thought about the loud noise and what I'd been doing when he was out of the house. To be honest, it scared me a little. Yeah, well, this is wartime, baby. Get scared. That's bad. Okay. All right. Oh, here's what happened, though. All right. So this information on the security detail could be useful later. So this wants us to circle H. So there are letters here mm. on the thing that, like, if you have them circled, and they're not always good things. Something no. might come up uh, where they go, oh, if you have this letter circled, it affects what's happening to you in this way. So we're It's essentially an extra way to weave the narrative into different ways yeah. and stuff. And if you circle the wrong letter, the mission will stop making sense. Yeah, because it's funny it's like... because literally in the rule book, it's like, please pay attention to the letters when you're circling them and know that, like, make sure you follow the checks because if you don't, the story will stop making sense. Yeah, because you'll say, if you circled K, the... Three monkeys from the zoo that you released yeah, come over. Like, well, and it's just like it monkeys zoo. from the zoo. What happened? You yeah. Know, so. <laughs> okay, and then add two tracking points. Now this means that the Germans are starting to be that's, a little bit suspicious. That's suspicious. Us. Yeah. And I think it says like five, and they're like kind of aware man. of you, and ten, they're like they're after on you. Your case. They're yeah. like sending a manhunt out for you, essentially. Um, and then it wants us to advance time, so it's now one p.m. And this goes until three. Okay. Now that you know where Halo is landing on Jersey, you head straight there. 
Oh my gosh. And this is now, y'all, depending on what time it is, will affect what happens next. Well, we could have gone here. We could have gone to this lady first, right? We could have gone to ice. and But we might not have passed the checks as well yeah. and stuff like that. So I'm glad he or went to the thing. if we but... went last, like what if we'd gone to the commies and that was another kind of red herring and we went to her last and now red it's Red like... herring. I get it. That's a good, that's a good Yeah, joke. yeah, totally that's, that's good. Yeah, that's nice. Um, so it is 1 p.m., which is pretty good, actually, I think. Uh, so we turn to entry 227. We could have got here at midday, I guess. Yeah, it has one for noon, one, two, and three. Okay. Okay, so two, two, seven. This is probably where our map's going to come into play. I imagine we're going to start combat soon, but now we know who to go against who because we know how they're equipped and what their specialities are and stuff, so that might be really helpful yeah. in combat. We still don't have a workshop. Why did it say supplies are in the workshop? Where's my workshop? Yeah. I want to hunt them down. I don't know. Maybe that's what you get if you go to the the middle option. If you go mm, to the, the communists. Maybe might, there's a workshop there. We might cheat after we're done and look at the other cards. Well, of course we're going to look, Paul. Are you crazy? Okay. What did we say? 227? <sighs> yes. Yeah, why not? The farmhouse at Rosal Bay is bathed in hazy sunlight. It appears idyllic, tranquil. It's hard to believe this may soon be the scene of a gunfight. <laughs> Scouting from a distance, you see that there are soldiers guarding the front and rear entrances. A fishing boat is leaving the dock, and you realize it must be the vessel that brought Halo. The spy has just arrived and is already inside the house. <coughs> Excuse me. Thankfully, General Nelkin and his entourage are not yet here. You need to get into the house and recover the documents before he arrives. Arriving early gives you more time to prepare. Add one skill token to the team pool. So we're back That's up good. to three, baby. Here, let me like zoom back out so you can see. We now have three skill tokens and two firearms. Turn to entry one, six, one. What happens now? This? What's this? What's this? Da, 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 da. Start What's of this? encounter. Bum, 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 okay. bum, 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 bum. Okay, so grab some Discard maps. all Sorry, action stuff. cards. So all of these are done. We've, we've done them. Draw cards eight and nine. Place them side by side to create the encounter map. And these big ones or small ones? These are small. They're, they're, they're they same depend size. Because it, yeah. yeah, in the actual, in the, uh, in the, in the main game, that they can be bigger, I think. So I sent you a picture of this already, man. I do, yeah, you do. Yeah. I'll get that up. Thank you for that. If you, if that's helpful, it may not matter. Um, place three you could, red you could cubes. Add, you could add that picture to the to the stream, I guess. But that sounds like actual work now. I've just thought about it. So there's yeah, it would take anything. me so long to do. Um. All right. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna zoom in on this so you guys can see it a little better here. Um, and I will just read off from, from our little, from our setup. So I'm looking at this is, is telling me how to set up for this encounter. Place three red cubes on the driveway. So I'm assuming they're enemy targets. It says driveway. So I'm going to assume here. Yeah. Um, Place them, uh, boop, 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 and two on the yard to represent the guards at the doors. I see. Mm -hmm. oh, they're after our milkshake as well. They've come to the yard. Yep, that's right. Okay. So we have those. Um, and you can see on this map that if you are, it tells you from these different locations, which we're going to be able to go to, uh, what kind of guns can be used there? This is a short range. This is the long range. And the firing arc, basically, like, where you can hit with those guns is basically in these kind of, like, dotted line triangles. Um, okay. If you have four plus tracking points, we don't. So that's good. Wow, we could have gotten more tracking points. The Germans have bolstered defenses in response to reports of suspicious activity. Luckily, we don't have that. 
I've been dressed as a dairy cow the whole time. <laughs> no one suspects a thing. Okay, place a black cube representing Halo on the house. I think that's just here. Just the building, yeah, yeah. Okay. You will now assign your agents to positions on the account encounter map. This is hugely important yeah. that we think about this correctly. So, let me so you can the see that. Oh yeah, go finish your thing. I will say as well. So in A, we can have zero people or one person. On B, we can have zero, one, or two. On C, we can have two people or four people, two, two to, to four. four people, but not one. And on D, we can have zero and one. So we could send... We can't send one person to every location, for instance. Yeah. Read. So, yeah, so we're going to so get a description me, of all the locations. Yeah, so let's describe the, um, the different locations for you. These are described in the encounter setup. So position A down here. This is a long-range sniper position and can only be occupied by an agent with a long-range weapon who is currently Antoine. But we can change that up if we want to put them somewhere else. Yeah, we can change um, everything. This is our last chance yeah. to change everything. An agent positioned here can provide covering fire for agents at position C as they move toward the house. So that's cool. So, say that again. Position A can cover position C? Yes. And you can see here there's a little arrow. And that means like you can surveil where that arrow is pointing from that spot. Which I'm sure this will say in a minute. Position okay. B... This is a short-range position that can provide covering fire for position C as they move in towards the house. So both A and B can provide cover for C. Okay. Position C. This is the main assault position, and you must assign at least two agents here. These agents will attempt to recover the documents, and they will be able to choose whether to make a stealthy approach or make a direct assault. Okay. D. This is a long-range sniper position and can only be occupied by an agent with a long-range weapon. During the assault, they can fire on the guards on the driveway to try to prevent them from joining the battle. I'm so stressed out. So we only have one long-range weapon. So we have to choose, do we want someone in A or do we want someone in D? I, I have a thought, but I'm curious what you think. I say we put someone at D with a long-range long, long range weapon and we put someone at B with a short range That's weapon. what I think too. Because then we have cover. On we have someone sides. helping up here, but the people in B can be providing cover for the people at C. Now, are we going to go for stealthy or are we going to go for an assault? That's a big, that's a huge determining factor on who we send where. I think we go for stealthy because I think we use our fire, the lads who are better at firearms. Um... If that's the case, then I agree, yes. To be doing the cover fire, right? Don't you think? I mean, yes, Monique I, is I the agree. same at firearms as Yannick, but she's much. she has much more influence. And, and stealth. stealth. And yeah, Yannick is not very stealthy, though he has more awareness and more technical skill. So we're going to split them up how we did earlier. I think, I think we should. Okay, I say we send... Monique and Bernadette, along with the tools, to position C. I think give them the toolkit? I, yeah. Okay. We have one check left on that, so I will uh, give hand that over to Bernadette. Well, they, we might not even need it. We might not need just... it. We might have used, you know, spent it for its usefulness already, but... And I think it goes without saying that we... Well, actually, it doesn't go without saying. Do Who do we give... I think we give the sniper rifle to. I feel like long range is harder, so we should we give should the sniper give it to rifle Antoine, right? to Antoine. Firearm is three. Yeah. And put him at position D and put okay. Yannick at B. So let's do. Let's do that. What color do you want all of these people to be? Let's make um, Antoine blue. So he's at D. And he's blue, so we'll put this on him so we remember. Um, it doesn't really matter. I'll do uh, Yannick can be yellow. And he's at B, right? Yellow Yannick makes sense. Yellow Yannick. And then uh, Monique will be green. Bernadette will be pink. And they are both at position C. C. I'm very stressed out. I'm actually going to put them on their little 
where the little red X's are rather than on the letter. Okay. This okay. is what we've got. Let's do it. <sighs> All right. Assign your positions. We did it. Turn to entry 202. I'm nervous. I don't so this know. This is combat this is now. Like. This is an encounter, as, as it were. So there's going to there's be a series of checks that things are happening and stuff going on. So that's. It's let's weird do it. to not have any dice to roll. I like that. I like that about this. Oh, interesting. Stop reading, Paula. Okay, sorry. It's just if we had gotten there an hour earlier, it was the same encounter setup, but slightly different. Okay, 201. What? No. No, no, no. What were we just on? That can't be right. Sorry, 220. Okay. Wait. Are you lost in the source? Oh, no. Yeah, I've, I've flipped to the wrong thing, and now I can't find where we... Go back to the last time that you can remember where we were. I don't and then we'll remember just any of the numbers. The we path. lifted a lot of numbers. Oh, this. Okay, 161, 202. Okay, so I was close, but not... Okay, 202. I looked at 201, and I was like, this isn't right. All right. We're the war has not been won yet, Mana Leak and Chap, but we're, we're closing in on it. soon. Okay. Ooh, if H is circled, it is, your information on the guards will give you an edge in the coming fight. Add one firearms token to the pool. So we now have three... Oh, that's excellent. Tokens. Let me move this down so you can see. I feel like we've nailed this point. I think we've that done. We couldn't possibly lose because of great decision making we and tactical expertise. Lose. <laughs> I think we are pro gamers and we're gonna defeat. We're gonna win World War Two right now, in this moment. Yeah, that's how. That's and that's how it will be remembered. Okay. You have the most important task: get into the house and recover the documents. Now, you must decide how to go about it, by stealth or force. A stealthy approach will be very difficult. Thanks, game. Given it is a bright day and there's little cover, but could avoid a bloody gunfight. Do we launch an assault or do we attempt to sneak in? Were we meant to read this first before nope. we made our decisions? No, we were supposed to assign our positions and then do this. I think we try, right? If it fails, then we can go to gunfire, right? Just like in a video yeah. game. Yeah, but I mean, we could lose two agents pretty handily if it goes south pretty quick. But yes, let's go for it. We'll stick to our guns, pun intended, and we uh, will be stealthy. Can I ask a thing? Yeah. I'm thinking about being stealthy. Yeah. What's more stealthy than a flamethrower? You know? If no one's, if everything's burned to a crisp, then no one can see you or report back on you. I well, they call me no survivors, but that was a name that my team gave me, uh, and it wasn't a compliment. It was based on my last performance. <laughs> okay, here the screams may give you away. I found it. So we flip to, we're attempting to sneak into the house. We so certainly we go are. To entry two ninety. I flipped to the. And we got thing. that. I'm glad we got that right first time. You use what little concealment there is available to sneak toward the house. Check do, do, the do, do, lowest do, do, do. stealth, of course, at position C. That two. is Monique, which is a two, but we've got skill check. Should we spin one to make her a three? Well, what's the options? One, two, or three plus. Okay. Uh, yes, we should I absolutely spin one use it. to make her a three. Hundred percent. Three plus. Turn to entry two oh eight. I am nervous. Okay. Here we go. Very carefully, you move up against the wall of the house and sidle along until the guards are just several feet away. Then you take out your knife and you attack from behind. Um, you have two options. Stay where you are and fire on the guards with your silenced well rod pistols or run up and dispatch them with knives. In either case, if you don't kill them all quickly, they will certainly sound the alarm. <sighs> Killing so them with knives is going to be another stealth check. Firearms is our lowest check. We need to kill them with stealth. I think we I think them. so too. Because yeah, 
Uh, Monique is okay with two firearms, but Bernadette is not great with guns. So let's hope she's good with knives. <laughs> Have we tried killing them with kindness? The man leak in chat wants to know. Um, so maybe we walk up instead of stabbing them, we hug them? Tighter okay. and tighter and tighter until they collapse okay. to the ground? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Sleep now. Sleep now. Sleep. So we want to sneak up and kill them with knives. <sighs> Brutal. Okay. Entry 180. Brutal or awesome? Both. Yeah, it's way... I feel like it's darker having to kill someone with a knife than... It's more personal having to stab someone. Anyway, we're not talking about... You rush up to the I, guards, my taking granddad them by surprise. Said, my granddad said it was, yes. Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> you rush up to the guards, taking them by surprise. Taking them out? Taking them to dinner? What, what? I was them. literally just looking at. There it is. Sorry, it's literally. You right mid sentence, there. Paula. It's <laughs> a I cliffhanger. Away for a second. For each agent at position C, remove one of the red cubes from the yard. So we had two there. So oh, oh, two of them are gone, But we oh, from the yard. Hold on. We moved to the yard. Good, because that's where there are fewer people. So that's one, two. So that's both. Remove one of the red cubes from the yard. So we took out both of them. So we've basically gone. We're still at position C, but imagine that we've gone. Zip. Yeah, we've. Oh yeah, because that's what this red arrow is saying. If you go up, you're yeah. gonna go this way. We killed them both. Okay. Um, my muscles have gone not as good as they used to be. All right. Uh, I should do some push-ups. How many red cubes remain on the yard? Zero or more than one? Zero, baby. Zero, we go baby. 141. 141. I guess with guns, we could have killed an extra person if we did a great check. Yeah, but we only need to take out two in the yard. No, I'm saying if there was a different scenario and we hit them later on and there was more people or there's more stuff and there was more of them there, if we went to try oh, to do yeah. this... You could probably kill more than one for one, right? That's how I do it. I have got... This is the gun I'm taking with me, Paula. To World War Two. This is the gun I'm taking. Look. She <laughs> believes. All right, 141. I have a revolver. <laughs> you quickly and silently dispatch the guards, gathering Scott, at the back of the door of the house... You discover it is locked, and you can find no keys on the bodies of the guards thwarted. Okay. We want to break down the door and launch an assault, or do you want to pick the lock and continue to sneak into the house? Sounds like a technical challenge, girl. I We've think got our so. tools. I think we try and pick the lock. Entry 159. I like that you can, like, try and do this in different ways. It's cool. Okay. Check the highest technical at position C. That is... Two for Bernadette, but she's got the toolkit because you were very smart to give it to her. Mm -hmm. And we can spin that one to make it three. Does the toolkit boost it just as is, or is it just the tokens on it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so and it's it, just it the equipped with, yeah, just these tokens, and it's our last toolkit token. Okay, excellent. And that's how we get a success, I think, because one to two we... is one entry, and three plus is another. Oh my gosh. We are nailing this. We are nailing it. Two, four, eight. And that's why I only go to war with a nail gun. I like close quarters combat, <laughs> nail gun preference. <laughs> Two, four, eight. You pick the lock and move through the house, clearing each room as quickly as possible. Finally, on the upper floor, you see a shadow move in a room at the end of the corridor. Cautiously, you approach. Circle L. So I'm going to come back to our little sheet. Can I just say, Circle so L. far, Antoine and Yannick, they have provided cover, but they've, they've done not done anything. Nothing. <laughs> We've, We've done stealth. Like, actually, oh. we should just stealth the whole time. Which is the opposite yeah. to how you play video games. Well, you tempt stealth, but ultimately oh, yeah. you won't be doing I'm never, stealth. I'm never stay stealthy in a video game. Okay, if I is circled, we do something, and otherwise we do something else. We don't have I circled. That could be good. Could be good. So instead, we're gonna turn to entry one five one. Who knows what we could have seen otherwise. One five one. Strange occult having... German ritual going on. 
That's what I think. One, five, one. Okay. A squat man with dark hair is standing near a fireplace. His Hans eyes Gruber, I presume. Wide in fear. Hans Gruber. Don't shoot, he shouts. I can give you what you want. His hand reaches into a drawer of a nearby What desk. I want is the inside of your brain to be on the outside of your brain. Ew. Sorry, I'm really into this. Are we waiting to see what he pulls out of the drawer? Or are we shooting him as his hand reaches into a drawer? Shooting him? I mean... Then again, we have low firearm stuff here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't matter if he lives or not. We just want the papers he has. Because he could shoot I, us. He's probably pulling out a gun, right? That's what I would think. Otherwise, I'd be like, I'd be like, no, hand away. I'll open that drawer in real life. But that's not one of the options. So read the options again. Shoot him. Wait and see what he does. He says, I can give you what you want. His hand reaches into a drawer of a nearby desk. Because there is a chance he only knows the information. He doesn't. No, they said. I believe they. Did he has say a cache. Is has, like he has documents. He has documents. Um, recover the stolen documents from the spot. Oh, Halo. let's shoot him then. I, I assume they're with him. There, yeah, let's shoot this. This shoot right. this guy. We're gonna shoot him. Entry one three seven. Come on, Monique. Or Bernadette. She could do something finally. Monique, Bernadette, just open the lock. You send Halo to the floor in a pool of blood. Okay, Remove the black cube from the house. We don't even have to test. It's just like, you're there. You do it. He's dead. You there stood in front of him with two guns. He's dead, yes. Glancing yeah. around, you see the stolen documents on a chair nearby. What was oh, he you into the drawer for? He was going to you... shoot us. Read that entry, Paula. Read the entry. If we'd waited. Yeah. Uh, I just have to find it. Hold on. I should again. I should have started writing down all the things. <laughs> Definitely write down all the stuff so you're not like me. Everyone. Yeah, absolutely. Probably should. He was totally reaching for a gun. What else would he have been he doing? I can't find it now, but he definitely. Oh, let's was just leave it. For just leave it. So it's a mystery for other people. Yeah. I think well, they don't have. This is the demo, so they probably unless you well, play this. Well, when they pick up the demo, SS and Spiel. Yeah, then. Full love. This is what I get for not doing what the game says to do. Write down your entries, everyone. Write them down. Um. So he's dead. There are still three guards outside. I will. That is still something that's happening. Uh, wasting no time, you grab the documents. Draw card four. The documents. Your objective is to recover these documents. However, destroying them would be preferable to them falling back into enemy hands. That's what it says. Okay. Because we still have the, we still have to get out of this. We still got yeah. three people outside. Yeah, this so. has turned to entry one thirty. And even though we it used a silent gun, a silenced gun, but yeah, it doesn't say end of encounter either. Mm -mm. So you hear the rumble of cars. Oh, that's right, because General Nelkin and his entourage have arrived. <laughs> we gotta get out. You need to get away as quickly as possible. Add four cubes to the driveway. Oh my gosh, there's now seven people in the driveway. Yeah, we can run. We can run out the front. If you have five or more tracking points, we don't. We Add don't. one more red cube, so we're good. Okay. If G is circled, <laughs> it's not. If L is circled, it is. Turn to entry 148. Could I... Okay, I'm just quickly... This is quick, Paula. This is quick, and I know this is on the on the fly here, but can I dress up as this person we've just shot and pretend to be him? Uh, Sure. Um, sure, why not? You know, why not? Leather boots, I'm imagining. Leather trench coat. A lot of leather, if I'm honest. One of those cool hats that they mm -hmm, wore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As you have not yet openly attacked any soldiers, and there has been no gunfire, 
Except for the one we did inside, they didn't hear. The Germans are still unaware of your presence. However, Nelkin and some of his soldiers are about to enter the house, and you may encounter them as you flee. If you have an agent at position D, which we do, they could open fire to slow down the soldiers entering the house, but then Nelkin will know an attack is underway. Oh, what do you want to do? Do we want to have Agent D open fire or not? Ultimately, from like a like a grand heroic standpoint, this mission relies on these documents getting out, and the best way to achieve that is for the person at D to start firing, even though that's going to be very risky for the person at D. And maybe so for us, they're going to come in more, but they might be, it's tough. There are seven cubes there for them to try and take out, but I don't know how else we get out. Yeah, I don't know. No, you think, so what, yeah, what do you think? I don't know. And Corp Donk in chat there, there, there's no dice, unfortunately, in this game to roll, so we have to come up with the story ourselves. What what you're you're saying we should we should let we should finally let one of the lads do something. We should let Antoine open fire with a sniper rifle. Let's do it. We haven't done it yet. We've barely used them. Why not? Let's see. Because otherwise we've got to have We've got to get Bernadette and Monique out of this building, and they're gonna if they're gonna come into contact with more soldiers, they're the ones that are gonna have to do the firing. I'm thinking that if we do this, we all the the, the Germans kind of like, I say we fire. Okay, let's do it. We're gonna turn to entry one, two, three. Just remember where we were and we can go back and change what we did. Thank you, Zimherger, for the subscription. I'm going to write this down just in case. Okay, this was 148. I should have, again, I should have been writing these down the whole time for our own reference. So we are going to go to entry 123. I stand by, I was led, to, I was born to lead. I stand by this decision. A decision that was made much easier, the fact that I'm sat at HQ, hundreds of miles away. I'm at okay. Bletchley Park. Position D. Nelkin and some of his entourage are heading for the house. It's time to protect your fellow agents. Your first two shots go straight through a soldier's chest, sending one of his companions scurrying for cover from where he returns fire. However, Nelkin barks an order to get into the house. He has realized Halo is the target. You swing your gun round and begin laying down fire at the doorway, trying to slow them down. We remove one red cube from the driveway. Oh, this is making them go in the house then. Yeah. Rather than the opposite of what we were hoping was going to happen. Add one advantage token to position C. Okay, interesting. For every two points of firearms at position D, add one additional advantage token to position C. Okay. So position D has one extra. three firearm points. So it gets one extra. Okay, two advantage tokens at position C. That's pretty good. Okay. Turn to entry 125. If the Germans capture or kill you, they will take back the stolen documents, which would be a disaster. If you want to destroy the documents now, do those things. Otherwise, we, we discard the card and we circle M, or we turn to entry 140. I think we can make it. But we either win or we lose, right? We either if they if they capture us and kill us, it would be if a, they like get a the documents, partial success if they if the documents are destroyed. But if we can true, just get out, would we be dead? Yeah, but they wouldn't have the documents. My, but well, I my think thought we'd... is, mm -hmm. my thought is, we either die with the documents. Actually, why no, they do will we take the documents from us? You see, if they kill us, they just take the documents. The whole point is to keep them from getting the documents. So that's why I, we I could destroy the documents now or think, no, we won't die. We can hold on to them. In any scenario where the Germans get the documents, we are also dead. In any scenario where yes. the Germans don't get the documents, we are alive. Yes. But so it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, it if does. We... Because there's a success. 
a partial success and a failure. Partial yeah, but I don't success, want to partially succeed because a partial either. success would mean that we're dead. Yeah, but at least the Germans wouldn't have the documents. I'm but only my explaining is... it, but I don't want to destroy the documents. I think we can get out of here. But do, 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 the mission was to retrieve Keep... the documents the or stop the documents? is to stop the Germans from getting the documents at any cost. So destroying the documents would be what you sh we should do immediately anyway, right? This says, your objective is to recover these documents. However, destroying them would be preferable to them falling back into the enemy Oh, hands. there's rough then. There, yeah, we survive. Yeah, let's do it. There's, I don't want to destroy them then. I don't want to If it was it. just keep the documents out of the German hands, then yeah, destroy the documents, obviously. But if it's retrieve the documents is our primary goal. It would be goal, best then... if we could get them back, yeah. but... I want to go for a full success rather than too. a half and half, yeah. I do too. So we are not going to destroy That's why them. they call us. The go big or go homers. The go big or go homers. That's right. You run from the room and along the landing, hearts pounding. As you reach the stairs, you hear the main door of the house opening and the thud of boots on the floorboards below. <laughs> Move all red cubes from the driveway onto the house. So they're in the house with us. Six of them are in the house with us. I think we might be dead, actually, now I think about it. Six versus our we two should, worst virus. We probably virus. should have opened fire. We probably could have snuck out. Uh, I, I, I didn't think... But it was think... exciting to try. Like, we haven't done it yet. Well, let's do well, it. I, my thought was that they were going to... At least half of them were going to go and try and take out the position. Yeah. It makes sense that they went into the house of cover. I, it does make sense, but and I didn't think that was what was going to happen. But we do have two advantage tokens on seat. Okay. We will check awareness, highest awareness, plus the lowest stealth at position C. We have two advantage tokens and some skill tokens. So Highest awareness and lowest stealth, both of those are Monique. No, the highest awareness is Bernadette with two. Oh, highest awareness is two and lowest, lowest stealth, stealth so is four. is Monique with two, so that's four. What do we need to succeed? Okay, succeed? so our options are two to three, we get an entry. Four to five, we get an entry. Six, we get one. And seven, we get one. I say we at least spend our two advantage tokens, right? I think we spend everything. Two advantage tokens will make it a six. And then if we spend one skill token, yeah. it's a seven. And that's the if best we, we can we, do. We're not going to take these tokens home with us back no. to Blighty or to rural France. Let's, yeah. go, let's, let's, let's do this. So seven, best Best, best we can do, because our lives are on the line, and so are these documents, because we did not eat them. Uh, turn to entry one, six, You're going to eat them, Paul? I was going to burn them. At this point, though, I would be burning the house down. That would be my plan. You just set the whole thing on fire. That was my plan at the start, though, just because there's no rules in, in war. I can do what I want. There are no rules in war. With the thudding of boots ringing in your ears, you exit the back door of the house and head for cover. Some soldiers emerge and stand their ground, opening fire at you as you flee. However, you have a good start. If M is circled, it is not. If all four agents are mortally wounded, they are not. We're not wounded at all. So we could all be mortally wounded at this point, which yeah. is kind of funny. Probably if we had done more gun gun. Fighting. Well, I also imagine if we'd have let him get into the into that drawer, he'd have shot one of us. Yeah. Yes. Right. And, and we'd, we'd, be, have shot, yeah. we'd have shot back, but one of us might be mortally wounded at yeah. this point. Else, which is us, because we don't have M circled, we're not mortally wounded, turn to entry 252. I hope this is good. Sounds like it should be good. It should be, right? With your lungs burning, you keep running and running until eventually you collapse a long way from any German soldier. Well, like the Black Eyed Peas. Run in, run in, and run in, run in, and run in, and run in. If M is circled, you destroyed the documents, you get a partial success. But we didn't. We, we didn't. We're not cowards. Ourselves. We believed in the heart of the documents. Viva la France. That's what we were saying the whole time. It was not stealthy when we were doing it. It was like, are those possibly... Those guys, the ones shouting "Viva la France," possibly. As we're running, we're singing "Red the Blood." <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> um, else, you have recovered the documents. Mark the objective as a success. I think we should send one rocket launcher or like a rocket propelled grenade or something down into that house. But that's just me. That's what I'd have done. 
Blow the whole thing up. Turn to entry one five two. I think we get promoted to full field officers. I hope our um. Where's that bloody where where yeah, workshop? Yeah, where's the workshop? Must have been in the commie town. Well, we're gonna look because we wanted. We should have been able to get supplies. A week later, you are called okay. before your superior, Sir Oliver Hallows. As you enter, he stands. Oliver Hallows? Up. Yeah. Very close to Halo. I wonder Sir who gave Oliver. him that nickname. Mm, interesting. 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 Hmm. interesting. He stands and looks at you with pride. Those documents, he says, list code names and identities for marquee resistance fighters. I don't know why this is where he's from. In the Moret region of France. I also don't know where he's from from the accident, but <laughs> if Halo had succeeded in passing those documents on, many Marquis would have been located and killed. Or worse, you did an excellent job in recovering them. Well done. Thank you, sir, you reply. He nods. Sadly, it is not enough. There is increased activity from the German military and the Gestapo in Moret. The Marquis are being ruthlessly hunted. That is why I intend to send you there. You will form the Magpie Network. You have already stolen something from the Germans, and you're going to swoop in and take a whole lot more. That's right. With a magpie, so we swoop. Because yeah. the mag magpies swoop. That's right. We steal things. And what we steal from the Germans, I like to think it's their hearts. I like to think that we... I like to think that they, 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 they think... Missions? We're a plucky band of ragtag thieves and mischief makers. Your mission, I've lost, lost, lost my spot, are likely to include love potions and charm. Honey pot situation? I'm listening. Uh, to include sabotage and direct oh. conflict with the enemy. It will be challenging and it will be dangerous. But I think you are ready. Do you accept do we have a choice? <laughs> uh, yeah, really. Uh, well, in the meta terms of this game, you now scan the QR code and uh, find out where you can buy the full game. Ah, oh, excellent. Well, we survived. We did it. We full did success. It. Okay, wait. If we had gone to... We're looking up. I can't look it up because I don't have uh, scenario zero. The estate. Zero. We would have gone to 185. Yeah, I want to know where are these supplies and We worked hard to translate the Morse code. Do, 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 do. I'm looking to see if there's something about a workshop here. Um, it could be in a later mission. You never know. Oh, we would have had to make bombs for them. One, four, nine. To get, them, to get the commies to trust us, we would have had to make bombs for them. Gross. Yeah, they're not going to share their information out equally amongst everyone. Yeah. Hypocrites. What a surprise. Uh -huh. We could have tried to steal a grenade from them. That's interesting. Let's just do 119. I'm just trying to see, like, where did we, we just miss wherever the workshop was. Then we just do a technical check. I, don't, I, just don't, I don't think we had the option. The, I don't think the way that we did it, we had, we came into contact with the workshop. Yeah, but there's there must be one in here because they've given you that hint, like... If you see a workshop, maybe you should search it because there are going to be supplies was in there. Was the Osprey booth shaped like a workshop? Yeah, maybe it was like something in the booth. Maybe that was like an active, yeah, um, thing for when you were at uh, Gen Con. So there you go. That is Mission Zero, the Jersey Spy, for that was fun. Four Story, Occupied France. We did it. We saved the world. I like to war. think that's what happened. Yeah, yeah, we saved the world and ended the war. That's how I remember it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this upload here on YouTube of our live play of War Story Occupied France. Again, if you want to ever join us in for live streams, we do them typically once a week, every week. So uh, go over to twitch.tv slash Paula Deming, link in the description, so that you can join us live. We'd love to see you there. Also, links in the description to where there's more information on this game, that's I'm right. imagining. Is that mm -hmm. something that exists? Surely that's part it of the exists. agreement. It's there. That would be, you can make sense. Click on it and find out more about the game. Thank you, everyone. And if you do uh, purchase the game, tweet about it and tell us for games that we're the impetus behind that. That makes us look nice. In fact, do that even if you didn't buy the game. No, even if you don't buy it, just tweet and tell them you did because of us. <laughs> that would help us a lot. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll see you next time. Right. Bye. Bye, everyone.